Hello my friends and welcome back to another beautifully polygonal day here on my procedurally generated Super Mega Bio Minecraft server. Parts of that Mesa thing came in just as I was about to say that and it kind of freaked me out for a second. I gotta get up there one of those days. Uh, man, I, it would be something if something was on there this whole time and I haven't looked up there yet. But uh, yeah, I'll get up there one of these days. I've been over there and looking around, kind of running around the mountain and looking at the top of it. And I am considering it a, a, a mountain, you know, even if it is kind of plateau-ish. Hmm, who knows? I'll check it out. But what we're doing today is working on the clouds. And I have been up since the break of dawn, and it's almost, oh, it's past afternoon now. I have uh, pulled all of the trees down in order to get ready to continue making more charcoal for the super smelter. Because I am going to need a lot of glass and a lot of sand for that. I am continuing to work on Operation Tone Down the Mountain over here. Or not the mountain, but the, uh, whatever it was that caused this thing to have a whole bunch. Of, like a whole chunk just kind of jet straight up into the air. Anyways, okay, so now that's done. That's been taken care of. Oh my goodness. And that'll grow over grass. I might have to pluck those at some point. And are there any more sheep that I can take just for one last haul here? Yes, there are. Let me come on over here. And, uh, da -dee -dee, this guy. Let's go ahead and get one more last batch of wool before we head out there. Because, uh, the sun's going down, so now's the perfect time to utilize the nether to travel to our final destination for this afternoon, or for this project, I should say. And that is the Cloud Rainbow Bridge. What's going on here? Okay. I've got plenty of food. Let me go see if I've got enough glass. I want to take as much... I know I've got a lot of wool. I should be able to make one or two... Um, clouds out there. So it's my hope that I'll be able to make one or two clouds. Okay, so first things first. Let's see how much wool we've got. Oh, I can make one more run of this. Those of you who weren't here with us last episode, we converted the old sheep farm, which was the episode before that, into this one. Uh, wool farm, I should say. It's not really a sheep farm because we're not harvesting sheep. We're harvesting wool. Also, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, the first uh, time, this is about, I would say, half the sheep I had in here when I first had it as a single chamber. Entity cramming is not working at this, uh, on this. The, the 400 biomes bundle that I have is the original one that came out in 10.2, or 1.10, excuse me. And, um, I'm pretty sure it was. Anyways, I understand that there's upgraded information, but I really am, again, I haven't worked on the technical aspect side of things since I started doing this. So I better go back and relearn some of my JavaScripts and see if I'm doing anything wrong. And get that patched up and maybe bring this forward into the next set. Uh, if you weren't here last time, there's water streams out the back that push any wool that I didn't collect into hoppers that run into boop, a dropper, which is powered by uh, redstone in the back. Let me pull this off. Yeah, I'll take all of this. All of it? Most of it. Yeah, let's take some of these. And if we're not taking that many. Okay, and white glass. What else? I can get rid of some of this stuff. That tree can get out of here, for example. Uh, that grass will get dropped off in a second. I believe my grass chest was this one. It is. This uh, I can get rid of in a second. All right, I'm going to need more glass than that. I want a whole stack, so let me take a whole stack. We'll do that. Boom, boom. I need some bone meal to turn it. And if it's a whole stack, I'm going to need eight. Boop, boop. All right. And what else? Okay. Go burn it. Time to go burn it. Through here. All right. This is my foodstuffs chest. I'll put that there for now. Yeah. All right. In here. Ooh, okay, that last bit is for this, so I will cook that into charcoal. Then I will turn that into glass, and I will dye it white, and I'll have all the things I need to go to the next phase of the plan, and I will bring you up to speed then. 
All right, my friends, we're over here at what will be my cloud and rainbow bridge. And as you can see, under submerged, under the water there, submerged under the water is a guardian temple. So this may someday be a guardian temple spot also. I've run into a couple of these along the way. Who knows if that's uh, what's going to happen. Let me go ahead and put some lights up here just in case. If we're over, if we're building here through the night, because sometimes when you're building, you get a little distracted and you're not really paying a, too close attention uh, to what's going on around you. And then somebody just like maybe 30, 40 blocks away spawns and creeps up on you nice and slow. And the next thing you know, you hear this sizzling sound. And before you know it, you're being blown off of whatever you're working on. And uh, whatever you're working on has been blown away. And uh, that's uh, in the best case scenario. Well, I guess not because sometimes, I, I guess like right here, I might be able to whack at a creeper and have them go flying off the edge of the pillar. So that might work for me. I think I just double tapped a triple stamp there. All right, here we go. All right, so if there's one thing I've learned about trying to do clouds and it ain't too much. <laughs> I learned from when I was working on a cherry blossom tree in a creative world with some buddies of mine. And the secret to that is scale. Great big scale. Cherry blossom trees don't look too good, even at medium size. You kind of got to go large, if not extra large on those. So this little scale I was thinking about for the clouds might not be enough, but we're going to kind of start here and see where it goes, right? So the best tool for clouds is really shears. Let's get these guys out of the way for now. Bring down one or two of these and one of these to kind of get us started. All right, we got a nice little base down here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just bring this little cloud portion out like this, just a little bit, right? And we'll, oh, ho, ho, somebody's, that guy's already above me so that works and then we'll go like this right and then I'm gonna drop back down so this is going to be my attempt to make a cloud and the first thing I kinda wanna do is decide is this too big and already I think it may be because it's gonna be flat on the bottom like this so let's see like right here probably and again like I said scale but what I'm also thinking is if I put in some white stained glass like here and then come over here and put in an actual, you know, glass here and come back to the wool. Oh, can I get over there from here? No, but I can use my newly formed scaffolding to do so. So we could do this, right, and then start circling it back the other way. I think that could work. I think it can. Let me get this out of the way here. All right, so... I'm going to try working on this for a little bit because, like I said, it, it kind of needs to start small and go big. And I'm going to try to make a bowl, I guess, here, and then come back and see what it looks like from under. All right, I'll be right back. As you can see, my friends, it's the middle of the night, and I'm up here making sure everything's well lit up. If I need to run back and forth, and as you can see, there's that first spot I've neglected to light up at all, and nothing is there, fortunately. Because when you look around, where would they spawn, right? So it would be here. Okay, now, before I go down and rest up for the night and reset the sun, go ahead and see what I've got going on over there. How's it look? Uh, you can't really see it too well yet. Hmm. All right, well, let me go back over here and try this angle over here. Look straight ahead instead of at the plank. All right, oh. You know what? I think I might have mistaken that light source for the village light source I found over there. There is a village over there. So maybe we'll have something going on over there, but I'll have to figure that out. It's probably lava, like I presumed before. And can't really see the Guardian Temple that well. Oh well. Oh, we can't really see my cloud attempt either. Boy, I have to come way over here just to see what it would look like at night. Hmm. And I don't think I have it... Yeah, this will probably be the angle right here. Alright, so... Okay, it's starting to come together. It's illuminated by those torches there. So do I want to put 
some glowstone inside them. There's gaps still. And then have them lit up. Because a lot of that is wool and glass and light gray wool. Most of it's wool. Some panes. Hmm. I think I do. I think I do. I think I'm going to go get some glowstone real fast and come back and add those to the build. And continue to build this cloud structure here. And then I'll come back to you, show you what it looks like during the day, and then we'll kind of cut scene tonight also. All right. I'll be right back. All right. So the clouds uh, ugh, on this side. What is going on there? Did I miss a bunch of blocks? Yeah, it looks like I did. No, I have a lot of uh, glass there because I wanted it to look wispy and I wanted the light to be able to get through, but I need to get down there and kind of block it in a little bit more, give it some more um, depth, some actual, you know, weight to the cloud. <laughs> it can't be so wispy thin that, uh, like, like on this side, you see it's a little bit more, it's a deeper cloud. So I need this to be a deeper cloud on this side a little bit. But I did take a look at it at night, and I did think it looked all right. I think it could have looked a little bit better. Well, obviously, I just got done discussing that a little bit myself. Uh, can I get down here and do it? Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's see if we can do it like this. Oh, I'd really like... Oh, wait. The easiest way to do that is to build a fake cloud for a second. All right, so here... And here, maybe pull this one back off. Oh, that'll end up staying there. All right, so this guy up, and then we'll put that there, that there, and that will hopefully have given it the thickness I was talking about. Let me give one here. Right, so we're kind of building our cloud up a little bit all around the place here to just give it more and more cloud-like appearance. Excuse me, while I was talking, I kept leaning further and further to the right of my chair. I'm going to have to look back the audio to see if it, uh, oh man, I was a good foot over the side of my microphone. I apologize. I hope you could hear me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, yes, I'm going to keep working up this cloud. I just wanted to point out that I had two guardian temples. So I'm going to go over there and check out the coordinates real fast and then keep working on this cloud and uh, on this side as you can see it needs a little bit more also so we're going to keep building up here on this side etc 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 okay i'm going to work on this and uh, i'll be back in just a few moments all right my friends i've been building a little bit more onto the cloud trying to make it a little bit poofier trying to give it a little more width you know and now i think uh, because I'm going to need seven colors for the rainbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's as wide as it needs to be. But then I also was thinking about a trim on both sides of it, possibly. So I might need a little extra space, and that would put it right to there. So I'll probably go puff that out just a little bit more in that direction. Uh, but man, that's going to be so difficult to do down there. We'll find a way. We'll find a way. I'll come up like this. Yeah, that'll puff it out just a little more. Right? That's all it needs to do is puff out just, like, I don't know, like one or two more anyways. Okay, so give it a little more puffiness here. I've also got some of these. i got the glass still. So I think that looks pretty good. And the light still comes up and out through these. And I think I've come up with a concept that will work out better next time around. As you can see, you can see the glowstone. But what I'm going to do on the next one, boop, which I've already started, okay, this cloud doesn't need to be quite as wide because uh, it won't be the main platform. It'll just be part of this larger cloud, which will be. And I think I need to build out the little platform to get underneath these to make sure I can actually work on some stuff. I've decided to kind of, whereas that was all kind of free form, and uh, yeah, it definitely looks a little bit better from here, even with that little bit, so I'll just kind of, yeah. When when we get to the part where we're putting in the rainbow bridge, with this parts of this will probably come down. But uh, as I was saying, I've decided to go with essential geometric shapes, so this is going to be uh, an ellipsoid, I believe they're called. Is that right? An ellipse that's three-dimensional is an ellipsoid, I believe. 
And this will be a sphere, right? Ish. <laughs> and they'll both kind of blend together. And right now I'm using the basic white wool to fill it in or to get it where it needs to be. And then I'll fill it in later. But I also, the new thing I was thinking about, the concept I learned from that is potentially putting a glowstone, for example, uh, right here where there's torches and then having glass that'll come out and over and down or just out and down and down. Or just down and then out or whatever it needs to be. And then this one light source kind of feeding into multiple little glowing sections in the cloud on both the bottom and the top. So we're going to get a look at what that looks like in just a second over there with that one. But I've been showing that one, so let's not do that. Let me try to finish up this spheroidal and this uh, hem uh, hemispheroidal, elliptoidal object and... See what I can get done because uh, I I am running out of time. All right, so let me see what I can get done. My friends, we're taking a quick peek at what this might look like at night. And uh, it's uh, still a work in progress. This needs to back in the back. The farther that needs to come out just a little bit, I think. And there's a lot of this that's going to be covered up. And part of me is thinking, like, I think this looks pretty good down here this one maybe I'm starting to put in too much glass but this is supposed to be one cloud that's rolling into another cloud anyways so hmm, let me think about what that's gonna entail let me get this I've been sprinkling in a little gray wool light gray wool to kind of see what it looks like uh, eventually this will probably be just straight capped like this and then this guy is the light root that we have for the bottom sections right and this section and it, folks it goes out that way and it comes out this way a little bit and it comes out this way a little bit and that way a little bit I want to cover that up for now to see how well how effectively this has worked right do I have another torch I do this one let's get rid of that one also All right so let's let's see how effectively this turned out might want to do another one up in this direction, so we'll leave this open for now. Uh, but let's come back to it. Alright, let's poke that guy. That kind of makes it a little dark, but... Alright, let's go see what it looks like. Let's go see, let's go see. Boom, 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 boom. This is going to be a bit of a haul. Yeah, my survival series here, the 400 biomes, it's just me, so it's difficult for me to get supplies. So this project might take a lot of time out of my hands just getting supplies. So... This might actually turn into a shorter run or in parts. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I'm kind of liking the clouds with lights and I'm kind of not, right? But I've started it, so I'm going to finish these two. This, this bit needs to still kind of go up and kind of close around. And we'll see what it looks like. Well, let me cut to the day and show you what it looks like then. And there it is the next day, in the middle of the day, and it looks pretty good there also. Let me go ahead and get over here and get a little closer look. In fact, let me turn this off so we can get a closer look. I really think that cloud came along pretty well and is starting to look pretty nice. I think it's, uh, once I get the rainbow bridge started there, it's going to look pretty good. And this cloud is also coming along, I think, pretty nicely. And I think it looks a lot better during the day. And there's more to be done to it. But I think what's going to happen here, I need to build this up. I think what I really should do, though, is go ahead and build the first section of the Rainbow Bridge next. Because I've never built one of these before. So it seems kind of silly for me to build clouds all the way up to there and then come back and try to build a whole bunch of Rainbow Bridges at once. Uh, especially when I kind of want to ruminate on how I'm building these clouds while I'm working on how I'm building the rainbow bridge to see how it works out. Oh, you can see a really good look at the Guardian Temple over there. Boop. One of two. There's another one over there behind that island. Uh, but yeah, I want to... I think what I'm going to do is stop here for today and... In the, well, I'll kind of fill this in, but I kind of won't because I also kind of need to work on how I'm going to receive the rainbow from there and then think about how I'm going to hand off the rainbow to the next section. It's going to be a longer bit. So 
Next episode, I am going to be getting a lot of sand. I want to get a whole bunch of sand because that's something I can do and make a bunch of time lapses. And I thought to myself, my viewers, leave a comment below of what you want me to write into the sand as I'm taking down the sand in order to fill up all of my boxes to make sure I can cook up enough sand into glass so I have enough for the rainbow bridge that's coming in here that's going to go all the way over to there. So I'm going to need a lot of sand. So while I'm doing that, why not? Why not put your comments in there? So leave one below if you want to. And speaking of, now's the time for me to go. So I'm going to go ahead and take off. That's what we're working on next time. I think this is a good stop point for us to kind of reflect on what we're going to do and how we're going to get there. And until next time, however, if you'd like to see two more videos, I have two on the left. You can check them out. And if you're new to the channel... Oh my gosh, and, and you've watched it all the way. Thank you very much. Feel free to consider subscribing for more content like this. You just heard what we're about to do next week. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon.